Hi folks, I'm magician David Gerard, and I'd like to show you a little card game I got caught up in one night. The game involved three cards. Two of the cards had red diamonds on them. The third card had a blue diamond on it. The blue diamond was the money card, and the object of the game was to keep up with the location of the blue card. And if you could do that, you could win money. It cost a dollar to play. I placed my dollar on the table, and the game began with the gentleman placing the blue card to the bottom of the packet and then asking me, where's the blue card? I said, well, that's easy. It's on the bottom. He said, no, sir, that's a red card. I said, well, if red's on the bottom, then the blue card has to be either on top or in the middle. I've got a 50-50 chance. I'll take the top card. He said, that actually is the other red card. I said, well, if there's red on the top and red on the bottom, the blue one has to be in the middle. He said, sir, that card is also red. I said, well, you must not be using a blue card. He said, remember, the blue card is on the bottom. I said, well, if there's blue on the bottom, then the top card and the middle card have to be red. He said, well, actually, the top card is also blue. Blue on the top, blue on the bottom. I said, well, then what about the middle card? He said, well, this one is blue, too. I said, well, in that case, I know what you're doing. You're using more than three cards. He said, no, look, one, two, three cards. But I have been counting and you now owe me seven dollars. Wow, it adds up in a hurry. He said, but you seem like a nice young man, so I'm going to give you a chance to win your money back. Let's play for double or nothing on your seven dollars, and to make it easy, I'll even show you two of the cards. There's a red card, and there's a blue card. Now, for double or nothing on your seven dollars, what color is the third card? I was so confused, I decided not to take any chances. And I said, red and blue. He said, I'm terribly sorry, you owe me $14. Tricks like this can be a lot of fun, but as long as I hold the cards, you're never going to win. The same is true for proposals to expand gambling in Kentucky. Casinos may look like easy money, but in the end, it's all an illusion, and our losses will be all too real. Call your legislators and tell them to vote no on expanded gambling in Kentucky.